Have I got a recipe for you today? I do. I promise I do. It's a kitchen clam bake. It's super duper easy, super festive, and really fun. It's a party in a pot. You're gonna love it. You wanna start with some shallots and some garlic. Two shallots and six cloves of garlic. Peel your six cloves of garlic. It's gonna add lots of flavor to the clam bake. And then two shallots. These have to be quartered, but look, they're quartering themselves. If they're the right shape, don't worry about it. All right, these just get added to the bowl with the potatoes. It's one and a half pounds of new potatoes. Garlic, too. And then I need about a half a teaspoon hot pepper flakes. You can do a little more if you like it spicy, but you know, start with a half a teaspoon. All right, this stuff is gonna go into a pot that I have already boiling on the back stove. In this pot, I have three quarters of a cup of water and one and a half cups of white wine. It's simmering just to start things off a little bit. And then I'm just gonna add these things in here. So that needs to cook for about eight minutes. Cover it, steam. Just to start off the cooking for the potatoes. They take a little longer than clams, you know that. You need six ears of corn, just shuck them. Get rid of all that extra silk. I just pull everything off in one fell swoop. I don't know about you. And then cut them in half. Oh, that was easier than I thought. And two lemons, those have to be quartered. Piece of cake. And then of course, the namesake for the dish, the clams. You don't want to make a clam bake without clams, right? Five dozen little neck clams. I like to scrub them first, get most of the grit and sand off. I mean, you're really supposed to use ocean water, but if you don't have access to ocean water, I guess salt water will have to do. <laughs> do you have ocean water on hand? Have it air freighted. <laughs> okay, it's been eight minutes. I'm just gonna put the clams in this bowl and then rinse them. If you drain them, that grit would go right back into the clams. You don't want that. Look, do you see all that grit and all that sand? That came out of the clams. Rinse your clams one more time. Now they can get poured through and then go right into the pot. With your partially cooked potatoes, the PCPs. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm only kidding. Guess what else goes in there? I'll tell you what else. You don't have to guess. The corn and the lemons. Cover that baby up. Let it cook for 12 minutes. You're just waiting till the corn is cooked and all the clams have opened. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you can get the sauce stuff ready. So you put four tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of chopped fresh oregano. You could use dried oregano, I suppose, but I would use way, way less. It's actually much stronger. Dry versions of the more oily, woody herbs are actually pretty good. Half a cup of parsley. That's gonna add a lot of freshness to this sauce. You cannot replace this with dried parsley. Do not. It will not be delicious. All right, let's look at these. My 12 minute timer is almost going off. I just wanna see how they're cooking. Most of them are open. Mmm, that means we're almost done. I'm gonna add my shrimp. It's the last ingredient. And what you do is you add one pound of shrimp, you put it on top, extra jumbo shrimp. You let it steam for three minutes, but with the heat turned off, you cover it back up, and they're gonna steam in the residual heat, which is kinda cool. I think they're done. They look done. They just need to be opaque throughout. Are they? You notice how I stick my hand into a steaming pot of liquid? Nice. Smart, right? They look opaque. They're firm. I think they're done. Yay! Time to eat my favorite part. All right, just remove everything from the pot and put it on a nice big platter. Probably a little easier to remove with tongs. If any of the clams are not open, one of two things that can be going on. They could have been dead or they can be not quite done. I need to scrape some of those cooked lemons into the sauce bowl. And then you're gonna pour that cooking liquid into this to make a sauce. It's so good. Carefully pour that liquid over the butter mixture and let the magic begin. My bowl's too small. Dun, 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 get another bowl. Don't waste any of it, it's so delicious. You can eat it with a spoon. Don't throw away the garlic cloves either. You can eat those. It's so good. Little bit of the garlickiness, the seafoodiness from the clams and the shrimp. A little morsel for me. It's fantastical. And I don't use that word lightly. I really mean it. I highly recommend it. If you can lift this platter, you can make it. it shouldn't take more than about 25 minutes to have a festive meal for any occasion. How about Labor Day? You have enough to please the crowd. Please yourself, make this dish. Celebrate sending those kids back to school. <laughs> Just kidding. I know you like spending time with your kids. 